Hi guys, this is a quick video to show you how you can configure a Cisco 2960 Catalyst switch to support some basic routing features. What will you need to enable this feature on your Catalyst switch? Uh, at least iOS version 12.255. Um, that's on the Cisco website. You can go to the configuration guide and release notes for 12.255. You'll find this feature in there. Um, my switch has the universal image. Any image above that, I'm pretty sure you could do it with. I haven't tested it though, so don't hold me to it. Um, the model I'm using is 2960-24PS-L. Uh, um, I'm not too sure if the model affects it, but um, you can find that all on Cisco's website. Um, just follow the link underneath the video to find out more about the STM function. So, what are we going to do first? We're going to issue Show STM Prefer, and that's going to show us what we're currently using as a switch database modifier and as you can see we're on the default template and most of our resources are allocated to unicast MAC addresses and this is because the switch is, is a layer 2 switch so that's uh, that's why so the command to configure it is just one command SDM prefer LAN base routing enter that and we're gonna have to reload so I'm just gonna quickly reload before I do that, I'm just going to save the configuration and then I'm going to reload. So I'm just going to pause the video while it reloads. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, the switch is reloaded now. So let's issue show SDM prefer and see what it's done. So we can see now that the current template is LAN based routing. And you can see that now a portion of the um, resources on the switch has been allocated to IPv4 unicast routes, which is what we want. Um, notice that zero routed interfaces are supported. Yeah, th that's true. Routed interfaces supported, uh, are not supported um, with, with this current template. So don't worry about that. I'll show you how you can implement this into your environment. Um, create a uh, static route out in just a moment. So let's go into our... Start configuring our SVIs. So I'm just going to quickly create some. And VLAN 99, which will be connected to our outside network, if you like. Outside into that will be our outside interface. So I hope it does that. Uh, it's just going to connect to my home network, so I'm just going to give it an address of 137. Okay, so now if we do a show IP interface brief, just to verify that they're there. Yep, they're all there. Okay, so let's create our VLAN, VLAN 10, VLAN 10, VLAN 20, name. Okay, dogs. And then we're just gonna. I'm just gonna assign those VLANs to an interface. That will be um, switch point. VLAN ten. G one two. Switch point. Switch point. Access. And if anyone's not familiar with these commands. Um, I'd advise you to go back and learn some switching basics and some VLANing on switching basics. Basically all we're doing here is we're telling the switch port that's an access port, <clears throat> so a host port, something that you connect the host to, and then we're telling it it's in VLAN 10. Um, and 20 likewise, and then int uh, zero, zero, 03. Switch port mode. Access switch port. Nine. Okay, so now if we so yeah, there we go. We've got all of our three SVIs up now. So what do we want to do to enable IP routing? The IP router command. Um, you might be familiar familiar with that if you've worked with layer three switches. That's what you enter to enable IP routing. So now we should have a routing table of some kind. 
So there you go, directly connected networks. And we should be able to ping my oh, wrong one. Ping 10, 10, 10, 1. There we go. So that's my home router address. And then all we're going to do is we're going to create a static route out 10, 1. And we should. There we go. So we're pinging Google's public DNS server. Um, I suppose I better demonstrate some. Let me. Uh, so another feature that you can now do, take advantage of, is IP uh, DHCP pools. So let me quickly configure some DHCP pools, and I can show you into VLAN routing. Okay, so should be able to have a one nine two one six eight twenty dot yeah there we go one nine two one six eight twenty dot two so that's my machine twenty dot one so I'm pinging that and just to verify our other host on gigabit ethernet one let's go show my PDFB binding yep yeah, he's got ten dot two so quickly let me. One and two, one, six, six, ten dot two rather. It's weird, twenty dot two, and here's ten dot two. So there you go, into VLAN routing right there. Um, you can also apply access control list to um, the SVIs if you wanted to control your traffic flows. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it, to be honest with you. Um, check out some more videos um, I'm working on for the uh, catalyst switches, uh, including layer three. Um, in a couple of weeks time. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it informative.